storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Welcome back. It feels kind of just like the last day that we're going to get to enjoy some of this relative warmth that we'll have. So I hope you can get outside, take advantage of it. There's a live look out of our Manhattan camera this morning. Still pretty dark, but sunrise now is happening before 730. So that's some good news. We've got a look out of our central Topeka camera with our temperature currently sitting at 30 degrees. We have a wind at about six miles per hour out of the west and it is enough to make it feel a bit colder there this morning. So it feels like 24 degrees in Topeka. Now as we go through the rest of this morning, wind chill not going to be too much of an issue for us just yet, but it will be by the time we get into the weekend. So current satellite and radar showing just a few clouds passing through this morning and that'll be the case through the day. So we are expecting mostly sunny skies, just a few of those clouds hanging around at times. But temperatures for the most part, mid to upper 20s. We do have a couple low 30s, especially Concordia at 31, Topeka at 30, 26 in Hiawatha, Lawrence, Manhattan, sitting at 23 degrees in Junction City and 24 in Burlington and factoring in those 5 to 10 mile per hour winds and that's making it feel like we're in the teens this morning. So grab those heavier coats, but I really do hope you can get outside today, especially if you still have any cold weather preps to do because temperatures will be in the mid to upper 40s and then look what happens for Saturday. Temperatures just fall out. We have that cold front coming through in the early morning hours, so high temperature probably happening somewhere right after sunrise and then dropping off into the teens through the afternoon and it's going to feel much colder. Our winds, they won't be super strong, but we could see gusts between 20 and 25 miles per hour with the passage of this front. So watch what happens to our wind chills. This is Saturday morning at 7 a.m feeling like we're in the teens and low 20s. There's that cold front moving through already feeling sub zero right along the Kansas Nebraska border. Wind chills drop into the single digits throughout the afternoon on Saturday and we don't see much improvement for quite a long time. So waking up Sunday morning sub zero wind chills possible close to zero elsewhere and then throughout the daytime Sunday still feeling like we're in the single digits and the same goes for Monday and actually Sunday night into Monday looks to be some of the coldest we've seen with sub zero about negative 10 wind chill values across northeast Kansas so there's a look at our national satellite and radar where we do have our next system beginning to make its way into the United States. We've also got this huge trough and that's what's really setting the stage for that really cold air to just settle in and stay with us for several days now. So there's our future track starting this at 7 a.m. this morning. Just a few passing clouds here and there, and then we'll turn our attention to that cold front coming up for tomorrow. That's going to bring us a chance for some light snow. This starts at midnight tonight, so some of those snow showers working their way in by 4 a.m., moving through the area by 8 o'clock, so that's when we could see the, the heaviest of that snow, maybe just a rain-snow mix in our southeastern counties, and then that pushes on out by lunchtime, so into the early afternoon we should already be clearing out. So we are expecting maybe a dusting in the white shaded area, maybe one to three inches in our northern counties where we do have that winter weather advisory in effect and then certainly some higher totals expected to the north in Nebraska and then just look at this seven day forecast. I was just man making this the last couple of days just really hurt my feelings with those temperatures in the teens expected all the way through the week and still not looking at any oh, indication that no. we're even going to rise above freezing David until at least next weekend. Oh my goodness and sometimes you don't know the effect of that until it's all done and yeah. you start to thaw yes. and you can get a pipe that burst or you can get a lot of potholes to form. Yep. Well that's a tough week ahead. Oh I know it. All right.